But I think you might be more interested in that. Oh, man. Oh, it's another... Is this another jet fire? Yeah, it's another jet fire. Wow. Oh, my gosh. They've got... All right, we got another toy hunt, and we have a special guest. Not Mark, he's usually always here. Alex is What's back! What's up, everybody? Uh, are, you still still, are you still hunting? Transformers. And? Voltron. And? He-Man. And? G.I. Joe. Yes. And anything else that's good. Let's yes. do it. Let's and find it. Mark, I'm just looking in here already, and I'm getting excited. So, uh, give the lowdown of how this happened. The Major Wrestling Figure Podcast group. It's our Patreon group. Uh, Patreon.com slash Major WF Pod. Check, Check it out. out. I just said in the group, we got into Chicago late. It was about 5.30, 6 o'clock. Yep. And I wanted to go to this store, closed. Yes. So I said in the group, hey, does anybody know the owner of Time Pass Collectibles? And the one guy said, yeah, I work there. Baller move. He posted it and I saw him, he goes, look. And I was like, that is a baller move. And it ended up working out. So now they're opening it for us to check it out. Time Pass Collectibles in Chicago. Hold on. I see something so important here. If you know this, make sure to mention in the comments, Captain Power. Captain Power, boom. Well, we got to go get in. We got to go through the side, though. <laughs> oh, also, this is on Julian Street. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Wait, the, there's a basement? There's a basement. He doesn't want you guys to film down there, but if you see something you want to bring it up to film, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> we get to see it and you don't. Specific Care so, Bear? All right, so this is really funny. So uh, Care Bears were really big when I was a kid, right? And they all had like these special powers, right? Yeah. And they had the cartoon and like they they would shoot out from their belly, whatever. Yeah. So when I was a kid, I legit thought that if I were to buy this Care Bear, that I'd have good luck like at all times. Yeah. <laughs> and I could never find it legit. So I was like, oh man, I legit bought it. So here it is. Should I just buy it? Yes. I, I need mean, good luck. Well, it still has the tag. You got a pretty dope life, Alex. I feel like when you bought it, it worked out. It uh, yeah, well, I, I, I didn't buy it. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, could you imagine what happens if I buy it now? <laughs> Lucha Brothers Tag Team Champion. Yeah. Ooh, hey, Penta says you got to buy the camera. Penta says buy the camera. Also, imagine that's the thing that you buy. What it's like, I, of all things, I'm looking for all Ultra. I'm looking yeah. for Transformers. Yeah. Well, I got the lucky Care Bear. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right, works for me. You never know what you're going to get. You never know what you're going to get. We got some cards. No way. Carded LJ. Oh, that band is unreal. 500. Do you collect the new G.I. Joe's? Uh -huh. No. But, well, you funny, did start. Yeah, I did start. You started did in start. Pittsburgh. <laughs> and it's uh, good old Ethan Page's fault. Oh, Zart Zartan. Oh, I love Zartan. So Zartan uh, is kind of like a camouflage character in G.I. Joe, and he's a part of Cobra. So he will um, basically change colors depending oh, on where he like is. like a chameleon. Yeah, totally a chameleon. And I think he, um, I think he might change faces too which is why he's got the second face it's been a while but zartan's always been one of my favorites wow this is a pretty cool figure yeah that's well, one of the harder ones to find is it yes oh, crap what is this cobra infantry this one was hard to find for a long time real yes for whatever reason lady j is pretty new flint is everywhere in the stores right now got it what yeah yeah what is this what is this 
Oh man. Yeah, look at this thing. Oh, I didn't have that. I yeah, had the, me uh, neither. I had the base, right? How insane is this? That is really cool. Look at the box. Look at the box is mint. What is it? Just mint. Out? They they went back in time. They took a time machine, picked it up off the shelf, and then put it right there. So if you want it, come. This place rules, and it's very organized, and it has so many gems. Let me show you this over here. Oh no! All right, interesting. Show me, show me. Okay. So. The other vlog we did at Quake, things were everywhere. It was really fun. It was chaos. But, like, look at this loose section. Okay. Of vintage Star Wars figures, okay? Okay. Vintage is in what year? I'm not a Star Wars dude, so. Early 80s. Oh, this is like when the movies legit came out. Yes. These are like. The so, first aren't these Star very Wars valuable? Figures. I mean, some. These are loose. I mean, you can see some of them are 20 There's a couple $50, $40, depending okay. on the condition of them. Okay. Right? I mean, and the selection is. But look how awesome this is put together. You see the exact Ewoks together. Yep, You yep. could get a whole... If you were looking for a loose, vintage Star Wars collection, this is the place you got to go. You got to start here. And then also, this is blowing my mind. If any of you guys had G.I. Joe's... I mean, G. look at Joe's, the value of those two. I know. On-card, perfect condition G.I. Joe's. It's so nostalgic. I was, like, a little too young for G.I. Joe's. Same. But I had them. So you don't remember. Yeah. Exactly, but I, I'm looking at this, dude. and like that Duke had the out of that figure, but I didn't remember it. Uh, if they have the Mortal Kombat ones I was talking to you about, oh, yeah. I'll freak out. They, uh, oh! Oh, that's sick. Oh my god, how would I get that home though? <laughs> Ship it. Ah. Uh, 250. That's pretty good. That's amazing. Does it come with figs? Does it come with any figs? These don't usually come Action with uh, figures not included. Oh, okay. They have two? What? Why would they have two? How do they have two? How is there two? Oh, Jet Fire. Sweet. You don't have to have the new one, do you? From the Netflix series? That's the first day. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. You let us in, you're doing great. Yeah, you're doing awesome <laughs> um, let's say maybe. Like Mark, you're, you might be a, a little blown away by this. Yeah. I'm starting to open stuff. Well, you need to because you don't have room. My kid's now playing with toys. Mm -hmm. And the value of them changed in my brain. And now I just open everything. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Because you know what my basement looks like? Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm bored. Let's go grab some Marvel Legends off the wall. Or let's go grab some retro Spider-Man and just play with it. Oh, the retro Spider-Man. That <laughs> so that's brilliant. why I was looking at this. I'm like, oh, we'll just crack it open and set it up. I never got to play with them as kids because I never had them. Oh. And now my kid gets like the Power Ranger outfit to me, like opening that and like fresh knowing no one wore it from the 90s and my kid would be the first one. It was like, blows my mind. That is cool. I'm pumped. Yeah, you're right. But everyone knows I'm a carded collector and I'm starting to change. <laughs> so. I, the, I, the kid part, that makes sense. Yeah. But I would open the new stuff. No, the retros. I'm crazy like that. So this is the one that you were talking about? So yeah, I was telling you before. Yeah. So masterpiece can be hit or miss, right? Yes. This one, complete miss. It just is not well built. I was super excited about it because it's King Starscream when he took over the crown basically from Megatron, then Galvatron in the Transformers movie. Just not a good figure. I don't know about Thundercracker. I got to imagine they're probably pretty much the same. So I would go with a knockoff. If you're looking for one of these, they probably are going to be better built. What was the no what were, You told me in the car with the knockoff. Fan was. Toys. There you go. Fan Toys makes awesome Look stuff. Look it up. The yeah. Google. But I think you might be more interested in that. Oh, man. Oh, it's another, oh, yeah. is this another jet fire? Yeah, it's another jet fire, wow. Oh my gosh, they've got Megatron, the OG. Take a look at that, that is awesome. Oh, and they got, I actually had this, the original Soundwave. Uh, of course, I played played with it to death, so it's all jacked up, and it's cool to see it in box. And the original Optimus, wow. Oh, here we go, 
Ultra Magnus. I was supposed to bring Silver Streak. They got the Dinobots. Oh, and they, is that Superion? I loved it. I, it's like a so this is a combiner. Yeah, that's Superion. This oh, is pretty good. Voltron. Oh, damn. So that's the OG Voltron right there. Which I... 500. Yeah, I had it someday. Like, you know in your basement when you got like, yeah. stuff and you swear you have yeah. it? I know I have him somewhere. But he's probably all disassembled. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Batman Forever, a little Riddler figure. I defended this movie. <laughs> Great toys. <gasps> oh, I, so this, I don't know why, I never bite, never bite the bullet on starting collecting these, mm -hmm. but I always, always pop for them. Yeah, Fantastic Four's on the Oh, this, I don't know what this toy biz is. It's like a, they have the like i love the packaging yep. they get a story and they're wearing like cloth this yeah. uh mr sinister is awesome and they're never expensive like oh, i think it's like 15 cool. bucks yeah oh the doom have you seen that that's new yeah that's new yeah yeah it's uh it's a retro carded figure so they card it like a 90 like so it's literally this literally carded exactly like this so it's like this doom right there nice carded like this but a six inch figure it's awesome. I'm really digging the bigger size figures now. Just yeah, oh to yeah. Display them oh, yeah. nicely. So you can, I guess, build your own Freddy. So this is the un unburnt Freddy. <laughs> and then, you know. <laughs> and then trauma. You, you get a lighter and uh, you put Freddy through the uh, incinerator and change the change happens. That's pretty cool. Max effects. Oh, they have so, other ones too. Yeah. That is cool. And the stuff you see is pretty crazy. Yeah, right. Like so random. It existed. So it's random. Like going to places like this. Really. <gasps> That's cool. pretty awesome. Yeah. They just wrapped on uh, the third one, actually. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, me neither. I watched uh, the first one with my wife, and then she asked me to never show her a movie like that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> your help because i have lots of black series figures mm -hmm. and i want to crack them open oh. i have a i will have a bunch of them open yeah, yeah but for photos i want to like army build oh yeah it's like 40 bucks for one yeah well so you, who, so what, what what actually this is one of the complaints so like, i just want a basic stormtrooper to right. buy 10 so they say the star wars figure fans say like why don't you come out with a stormtrooper in every set yeah <laughs> there's always a stormtrooper on whatever but yeah i mean it's just business why they don't but right. yeah you would think that you could get a, a stormtrooper cheap 10 bucks 20 bucks but you can't no which it, is pissing me off and then they all look different so you can't even have the same ones. You just want a normal ass stormtrooper. That's it to to buy twenty, thirty to just have like. Yeah, and yeah. I don't know when the last time one of those came out. Th this set just recently came out. Like, I'm not sure. So the, this is the black series. Yeah, but on that retro car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this had a stormtrooper in it. Okay. So this that's a normal stormtrooper. So that's all I want. This might be your best bet. But how am I going to find a couple? And it's thirty dollars for one. Yeah. Stormtrooper. That's it's yeah. gonna cost me a hundred dollars to just have three. And the problem is, a lot of people want an army build, so oh, that's yeah. why they're missing. Yeah, I'm sure. All of these figures and not one stormtrooper. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Emilio, how are you here right now? I don't know. It's just random. I manifested. I want to see Ju Ethan Page. Or you can say whatever name you oh, want. I want to see Julie. <laughs> I'm literally filming to go down in the basement and all of a sudden it's like knock, knock, knock on the window. I see this dude's face. I'm like, wait a minute. I know this face. It was a very aggressive knock. It, was it, was, it wasn't an aggressive knock, but I'm so glad. Because the first time he no-sold the knock. Well, yeah, I, of course. You no-sold it. Because we're in downtown Chicago. Yeah. I'm Canadian. I don't know anyone here. You're very polite, but you no-sold it. 
I did no selling. And then once I knocked again aggressively, he came to the window. Well, no, no, no. I peeped my head around to see if it was a murderer. Why would a murderer <laughs> knock? I don't know. There's some confident people okay. in this world. So I went like this. And then I went like this. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and here we are. And how amazing is this store? This is absolutely incredible. Because I texted him a couple weeks ago. I was like, can we? Can I be on the vlog? Can I toy hunt? And he's like, I don't know, man. There's a list. Not even that. How do you line it up? How does this happen? Oh, you know, just walking. Literally just coming home from a thing. And lo and behold, here we are. Dude. Let's spend some money. Yes. <laughs> Yo, this store is amazing. This store is amazing. Uh, I know it was quick, Emilio, but how awesome was that shop? Amazing. And, Emilio, oh. a friend we met here. Hi. What's up? Amazing. I like to see my friends spend money. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, on cool stuff. If Alex, I had more time, oh, I would have. Great. It was so awesome because every bit that you looked, you found something new. So it's kind of hard to get out of it. Yeah, exactly. It was just walls and walls of just amazing G.I. Joe stuff. And yeah. the super-powered stuff that he had from the Keter line in the 80s, incredible. We found Mask. You know how hard it is to find Mask? That was in the secret room. With that the was accessories, yeah. too. Yep. It's very hard to find, like, the helmets and then the missiles and, like, even, like, the sticker packs. It's very, very difficult. Well, they got it. They got awesome. lots of awesome Time stuff. Time Chicago, in the city. Check it out. Bam! I got a Dragon Ball Z figure. What'd you get? Uh, IG-88. Thanks for hooking us up. This place is amazing. If you want to toy hunt with us, you can. Go to BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. And if you want to look cool while you sit on your couch and order toys, get some chalk line shorts. It's really effing dark, so I'm going to put a graphic up. Goodbye.